Good afternoon. I hope everybody's doing okay. The big question seems to be, how did Matteo Messina De Niro get caught? So let's get into it. In their hunt for Matteo Messina De Niro, investigators first set out at crippling his network of support. Anyone thought to be aiding and abetting was arrested, including members of his personal family. Businesses were seized as well in order to cripple him financially. All of the above created vulnerability. His family members were on constant surveillance, including the tapping of all personal and house phones. And it was through these wiretaps that they picked up a pattern of talk about people with cancer and cancer surgeries. This talk, coupled with intercepted internet searches on Crohn's disease and liver cancer, led investigators to assume Matteo was ill. With this information, they compiled the list of cancer patients born in 1962 near Trapani. Matteo himself was born on April 26, 1962, in Castelvetrano, a town in Trapani. They were able to narrow down that list of people down to 10 names, but five out of the 10 proved to be the wrong match. And out of the remaining five names, one name caught their attention, Andrea Bonafide. According to medical records, this person had been to surgery twice in 2020 and 2021. Investigators learned two key facts. First, the real Andrea Bonafide is the son of now deceased Trapani Mafia boss Leonardo Bonafide. And more importantly, by using mobile mapping, which basically is a collection of data that will positively indicate where you and your phone has traveled. Through this method, they learned the real Bonafide's phone was nowhere near Palamo on the dates of both surgeries. Investigators also learned Andrea Bonafide was scheduled on Monday for a chemotherapy session at the Madalena Clinic. Over 100 members of the military and Carabinieri surrounded the clinic. They spotted Matteo walking to a cafe inside the clinic. And as I mentioned in my last video, at the sight of the police, he quickly turned away. But he realized there was more police outside closing off the streets. He knew then that it was all over. After Matteo admitted indeed that he was Matteo Messina De Niro, he was placed under arrest. And the police noticed he was wearing a $30,000 Richard Mill watch, a favorite watch worn by many celebrities. Investigators also learned he was living, at least for the past six months, in a house in Campobello di Mazzara, which is in his hometown of Trapani. Records show the house is owned by Andrea Bonafide, the real one who's naturally under investigation now. Inside the house, they found designer clothing, cologne, receipts from restaurants, and pills similar to Viagra. Investigators are looking for any documents that would be considered a treasure trove of information in their effort to dismantle the mafia. The man who accompanied Matteo on Monday is named Giovanni Lupino, who's also from Trapani. Investigators learned he has a clean record and is described as an olive farmer. According to reports, on Monday morning, he drove Matteo to the clinic in Palamo. When all the chaos surrounding the arrest took place, Lupino slipped away but was found in a nearby bar, where he was arrested and charged for aiding and abetting a fugitive. I'll end this with an interesting photo of Matteo Messina De Niro posing with a nurse at the Madalena Clinic. Extremely surprising that a fugitive boss like himself, who was on a lam for 30 years, would pose for a picture with a healthcare professional. The question is, why would a nurse want to take a picture with a patient? Or the better question is, did the nurse know exactly who he was? I'm sure there's more details to come and I'll keep you posted.